What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and today I'm really excited because I have finally released my latest Revit course. So my latest course, it's called Reinforced Concrete Structures in Revit uh, and in this video I'm just going to give you kind of a quick rundown of what's included in that course and then if you're interested you can check it out on my website. I'm going to include a link just below this video in the description and then also up in the cards above. Uh, now this course has been divided into five chapters. Uh, we start off in the first chapter by modeling the entire concrete structure. Now I'm going to be showing you all of the little tips and tricks when it comes to using all of these uh, structural tools in Revit and also I'm going to be showing you different approaches depending on what your starting point is. So you might be starting from scratch but in a lot of cases you might already have a model to kind of follow along. Uh, you might have a Revit project or an AutoCAD, AutoCAD file and I'm just going to be showing you different approaches how to use that data in order to kind of quickly uh, build your structural model. So linking, inserting files and then using them as reference. Then we move over to the second chapter and that's probably the most important chapter of this course and that is reinforcement. So I'm going to be showing you how to add rebar into your concrete structures. I'm going to be showing you all of the settings that you need to set up all of the little modifications and options that you have and then I'm going to be showing you how to add rebar to your model. I'm going to be showing you uh, in different kind of elements. Uh, I'm going to be showing you throughout all of the kind of important structural elements such as beams, columns, floors and walls but then also we're going to be covering kind of those unusual shapes. You know it's easy to place rebar in a column if it's just a rectangular straight column but what do you do if you have some weird kind of shape, model in place shape, uh, how do you add rebar to that? Well, we cover that as well. It is possible inside of Revit. It is a little bit difficult. There are some kind of um, important tools that you need to understand and just understand how Revit operates and how Revit looks at this. But then everything is possible so you can even add rebar to the most complicated shapes. After that, we're moving over to chapter three, where we cover precast structures. So with the uh, Revit 2021 release, there has been uh, another tab added, and that's the precast tab. It was, before it was just a plugin, now it's an actual tab inside of Revit and it includes all of the tools that you need for precast. So I'm going to be showing you how to set everything up because that's kind of 90% of the work. You need to go through all of the settings, all of the adjustments, set everything exactly how you want it to be and then applying that to walls, turning regular walls into precast walls. Well, that's just a couple of clicks and then you're done. Kind of the software does everything for you. So I show you how you do that, how you set everything up and what do all of those settings uh, kind of change. What do they do on the actual model? And then finally, we're going to be creating some shop drawings. Again, it's going to be the same approach where we kind of customize all of the settings and then it's just one click and Revit is going to generate shop drawings for you according to all of the adjustments and settings that you've already set up. Now, after that, we move over to chapter four and that is annotation and presentation and display. So we're going to be talking about how do we present our models, mainly how do we look at rebar and what are some of the approaches to uh, displaying rebar and not making it too complicated because well in a lot of cases it can be just like a little mesh of, of, of lines and you don't know what's where. So I'm going to be showing you how to simplify that, how to make it a lot more readable and then also we're going to be uh, obviously annotating that and I'm going to be showing you different approaches to annotation and one of the things that we're going to be covering is how do you create your own uh, kind of customized tags. So uh, when it comes to these things, uh, when it comes to tagging, it can be really complicated because different kind of parts of the world use different methodologies, they do, they have different regulations. So I show you how you can adapt your tags to whatever kind of region, whatever regulations you have to fit it in. So you will never kind of find yourself in a situation where you cannot find the family because well you can make or adjust the family yourself. 
And then finally, probably the most important part is chapter five, and that is scheduling. So the whole point of Revit is, well, BIM, building information modeling. You're modeling, but your model has data or information built into it. Now, extracting that information is probably the most important part of the job because a model that you cannot ext uh, extract information from is pretty much worthless. It's just a, a nice model. It looks nice on an image, but it isn't worth much. So I'm going to be showing you how to create your schedules. Uh, now, how to adjust schedules, how to create custom Customize fields, how to create fields that can calculate different things, that perhaps combine certain parameters. So you will be able to pretty much customize and create any type of schedule that you need for your reinforced concrete structures inside of Revit. And there you go, that's the entire course. Now also with the release of this course, I'm releasing a template. Uh, now it's really important to, to mention here, I am an architect. So I don't know too much about structure and that's be and because of that I have kind of teamed up with an old friend of mine from school uh, that's actually a really good expert when it comes to uh, concrete structures, when it comes to civil engineering and he helped me alongside with this course and uh, doing a little bit of research and designing the entire course. But also he has developed a really really good template for exactly this, reinforced concrete structures. Now alongside with this course I'm going to be releasing this template also on my website so I'm going to include a link to that again in the description of this video and also up in the cards above. You can check out that template, it pretty much has everything that you need to have. It's actually a pretty much professional template which you can use on actual commercial jobs. So uh, it's, a, it's a really, really good extensive design built on uh, multiple uh, different commercial projects. So if you're interested in that, that's available as well. I'm going to be dedicating a whole different tutorial to that in the future, just talking about how, how these types of templates are being built. But just for now, I wanted to mention that. Uh, and also if you get this course, you can actually, on the, ch on the checkout page, you'll have an option to get that template as well and save $20, which I think it's a, it's a great offer. So if you're interested in that, it, it, it's included on the checkout page for the course. Okay, so I hope you're excited about this course as much as I am. I have spent so much time <laughs> setting everything up, so it, it did take a long time, but I'm, I'm really glad uh, I did take the extra time to kind of build it the way I wanted to build it. And now I think it's a, it's a really good course. It goes into detail, but without being kind of overly complicated. Everything was kind of explained slowly, simply, so pretty much everybody can understand and apply it, even though you're perhaps not a civil engineer, as I'm, I'm an architect, but they can still uh, kind of go through this course and use all of this knowledge. So I hope you have enjoyed this, and of course I'll be back uh, in a few days with another Balkan Arctic tutorial. So thank you for watching and have a nice day.